breaking news from the space industry that's shaking things up today. Blue Origin, one of the major players in private space exploration, just made a move that's affecting thousands of lives. In a dramatic announcement that no one saw coming, especially after their recent New Glenn success, the company is cutting 10% of its workforce. That's 1,000 people from their team of over 10,000. Here's what's truly interesting. Dave Limp, Blue Origin's new CEO, isn't blaming market conditions or competition. Instead, he's pointing to something unexpected, bureaucracy. Despite Jeff Bezos pumping in an estimated $2 billion annually to fund operations, Limp says the company's rapid growth created layers of red tape that are holding them back from their mission. This is happening at a crucial time when Blue Origin is juggling multiple major projects, the new Glenn and New Shepard rockets, lunar landers, and their ambitious orbital reef space station. The timing raises serious questions about the company's approach to achieving its 2025 goals and what this means for the future of private space exploration. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the latest developments in the space industry. Let's dive right in. The morning of Thursday, February 13th, started like any other at Blue Origin's headquarters. Engineers were reviewing launch data, project managers were planning their next milestones, and somewhere in the building, someone was probably dreaming about the next breakthrough that would help humanity reach the stars. None of them knew that by afternoon, everything would change. The notification for an all-hands meeting appeared suddenly in everyone's calendar. In the space industry, unexpected announcements can mean anything from groundbreaking achievements to sobering setbacks. As employees gathered virtually, the atmosphere was thick with anticipation. Dave Limp, who had taken the helm as CEO just months ago, appeared on screen with an expression that told its own story before he spoke a single word. The news hit like a shockwave. 1,000 people, friends, colleagues, fellow dreamers, would be leaving the company. In the virtual meeting room, you could almost feel the collective intake of breath. These weren't just numbers on a spreadsheet. These were the people who had poured their hearts into making space exploration a reality, who had celebrated together when New Glenn made its spectacular debut just weeks ago. Think back to that moment of triumph, the roar of engines, the perfect arc of ascent, the cheers erupting across the control room. It was a vindication of everything Blue Origin stood for, a testament to what happens when brilliant minds come together in pursuit of an impossible dream. The contrast with today's announcement couldn't be more stark, more emotionally jarring. Behind the scenes, the signs had been there for those who knew where to look. The hiring freeze six months ago was the first quiet ripple of change. Then came January's contractor departures, a move that, in retrospect, was like distant thunder before a storm. But few could have predicted the scale of what was coming. What makes this story particularly poignant is the reason behind it all. This isn't a tale of financial struggle. Jeff Bezos continues to fuel the company's dreams with $2 billion in annual funding. It's not about technical failures or market setbacks. Instead, it's about something deeply human, how our very success can sometimes become our biggest obstacle. We grew and hired incredibly fast in the last few years, Limp wrote in his email to employees, and with that growth came more bureaucracy and less focus than we needed. These words carry a weight that goes beyond corporate communications. They speak to a fundamental challenge in human endeavor. How do we balance growth with agility, ambition with execution? Consider the journey that brought us here. When Blue Origin was founded in 2000, space was still largely the domain of government agencies. Jeff Bezos, fresh from transforming how humanity shops with Amazon, looked to the stars and saw not just a technical challenge, but a chance to reshape humanity's future. For 24 years, he has backed that vision with unprecedented investment, nearly $48 billion, enough to fund entire space programs of smaller nations. The company's projects read like chapters from a science fiction novel made real. The new Glenn rocket, towering 322 feet tall, is designed to be fully reusable, a key to making space access as routine as air travel. The lunar landers aren't just technical achievements. They're the first steps toward establishing a permanent human presence on another world. The Orbital Reef Space Station project envisions a future where living and working in space is commonplace, 
where the phrase morning commute might mean boarding a spacecraft. But today's announcement reveals the human complexity behind these grand visions. In engineering, R&D, and program management, areas at the very heart of space innovation, teams are being reshaped. The company is thinning out layers of management, a phrase that carries both corporate efficiency and human cost in its meaning. For those affected, this isn't just a career transition. It's a deeply personal upheaval. Many came to Blue Origin driven by childhood dreams of space exploration. They're the ones who worked late into the night solving impossible problems, who missed family events to meet launch windows, who celebrated every tiny victory on the path to the stars. Their dedication has been a crucial part of every Blue Origin achievement, and their departure marks more than just a corporate restructuring. It's the end of a shared dream for many. The impact ripples beyond Blue Origin's walls. In Kent, Washington, and other communities where the company operates, these changes will be felt in local businesses, in school enrollments, in the daily rhythm of life. The space industry is tight-knit, news travels fast, and every major shift sends ripples through the entire ecosystem of companies and contractors. Yet amidst this challenging transition, Blue Origin's ambitions remain undimmed. The company's 2025 goals are audacious. Lunar landings, record engine production, regular flights of both New Glenn and New Shepard. It's a testament to human resilience. Even as some team members depart, the mission continues. The dream of making space accessible to humanity still burns bright. The competitive landscape adds another layer to this story. SpaceX continues to push boundaries with Starship, while companies like Relativity Space and Rocket Lab bring fresh approaches to rocket manufacturing. Blue Origin's reorganization isn't happening in isolation. It's part of a broader evolution in how private space companies operate and compete. For the employees who remain, the path forward is both challenging and inspiring. They carry not only their own dreams, but also the legacy of their departing colleagues. The pressure to deliver on Blue Origin's ambitious timeline while maintaining the company's high standards will be intense. Yet this is also an opportunity to reshape how one of the world's most innovative companies operates. The story takes another turn when you consider the global context. As humanity faces unprecedented challenges on Earth, climate change, resource depletion, growing population pressures, the work being done at companies like Blue Origin becomes increasingly crucial. The technologies being developed here aren't just about space exploration. They're about expanding the realm of human possibility at a time when we desperately need new horizons. Looking ahead, 2025 looms as a critical year. The promise to land on the moon, to achieve regular launch cadence with New Glenn and New Shepard, to deliver a record number of engines. These aren't just corporate goals. They're milestones in humanity's journey to become a spacefaring civilization. The reorganization announced today is, in many ways, a recommitment to these ambitious objectives. As the news spreads through the aerospace community, Reactions range from concern to cautious optimism. Some see this as a necessary evolution in the industry's maturation. Others worry about the impact on innovation and progress. What's clear is that Blue Origin's decision marks a significant moment in the commercial space sector's development. A recognition that even in the business of reaching for the stars, organizational efficiency cannot be ignored. For those leaving Blue Origin, the future holds both uncertainty and opportunity. The skills and experience they've gained working on some of humanity's most ambitious projects will be valuable in an industry that continues to grow and evolve. Their contributions to Blue Origin's journey will remain part of the company's DNA, influencing future successes even as they move on to new challenges. The deeper message emerging from today's events transcends corporate strategy. It speaks to the fundamental challenges of human organization and ambition. How do we balance the need for structure with the imperative for innovation? How do we maintain focus while pursuing goals that seem almost impossibly grand? These are questions that every pioneering organization must grapple with, whether they're building rockets or reshaping other industries. As we witness this pivotal moment in Blue Origin's history, we're reminded that the path to the stars is never straight or simple. It's a journey marked by triumphs and setbacks, by difficult decisions and bold commitments. Today's announcement, while challenging for many, may ultimately be remembered as a crucial step in humanity's ongoing quest to expand its presence beyond Earth.
The sun is setting now over Blue Origin's facilities. For some, it marks their last day as part of this remarkable team. For others, it's the beginning of a new chapter in their space exploration journey. But for all of us watching, it's a reminder that even the grandest human endeavors are, at their core, deeply personal stories of dedication, sacrifice, and unwavering hope for the future. As we close this chapter of Blue Origin's story, one thing becomes crystal clear. The road to revolutionizing space travel isn't just about building better rockets. It's about building better organizations. These layoffs, affecting 1,000 dedicated professionals, represent more than just corporate restructuring. They signal a pivotal moment in the commercial space industry's evolution, where efficiency and focus become just as crucial as technical innovation. The coming months will be telling. Will this leaner, more streamlined Blue Origin deliver on its ambitious 2025 goals? Will the reduction in bureaucracy lead to faster innovation? These are questions we'll be following closely here at Elon Musk 24 hours. For now, our thoughts are with those affected by these changes. Their contributions to pushing the boundaries of space exploration won't be forgotten. If you want to stay updated on how this situation develops and get the latest news from across the space industry, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take on Blue Origin's decision and what it means for the future of private space exploration. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, keeping you connected to the latest developments in space innovation. Stay curious, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video. Breaking news from the space industry that's shaking things up today. Blue Origin, one of the major players in private space exploration, just made a move that's affecting thousands of lives. In a dramatic announcement that no one saw coming, especially after their recent New Glenn success, the company is cutting 10% of its workforce. That's 1,000 people from their team of over 10,000. Here's what's truly interesting. Dave Limp, Blue Origin's new CEO, isn't blaming market conditions or competition. Instead, he's pointing to something unexpected, bureaucracy. Despite Jeff Bezos pumping in an estimated $2 billion annually to fund operations, Limp says the company's rapid growth created layers of red tape that are holding them back from their mission. This is happening at a crucial time when Blue Origin is juggling multiple